Today we are going deep into Waipio Valley to visit a taro growing program working in conjunction with Kanu Oka'aina. The program is led by Thomas Pahio, a lifelong resident of Waimea, who has been growing taro in Waipio since childhood. Now he focuses on researching different varieties of taro to combat the rising water temperatures and invasive species in the valley. So we have this patch all in stages. So when the students come, they have a chance to uh, uh, harvest and plant. So we always keep one patch open for planting and one that we are uh, harvesting from. Each one of these is a different variety. And some of these varieties are really, really hard to get. So we were very uh, fortunate. When we got these, they were all planted in dry land. So making the switch over from uh, dry land to wetland was a rough transition for some of these plants. Some of them didn't make it. Down here, it's getting harder and harder to uh, uh, grow those varieties. The water is getting too warm. So what we do now is uh, uh, varieties like the LL Makoko, they do really, really good down here. We have uh, the Moe, the Lehua, the Uwawa. That's all Waipio old varieties that they're giving us for, to try. This is the new way. And it's supposed to be plight resistant and it's very, very good. I mean, look at the size of the Oha. You know, and then this is uh, the mama, and this is a small mama. We get some big ones come out. We also try different other varieties, like this Palawan. It has runners, but this is only like a third of the size of that taro. So maybe if we can get another variety down here that could take this warmer water and stuff, uh, and can uh, fight the plight, the leaf plight, uh, you know, might be good for all of us. Win win. When I was young, I, I don't remember having this kind of algae in the water. One of the biggest challenges is uh, the apple snails. When you plant the huli, they eat around it. So you end up going back and replanting in your patch about three, four times. It's supposed to be an aquarium plant that uh, somebody had an idea of raising down here. They got carried away. He's making it harder, more hard for the farmers. This uh, program, the kids coming down, you know, maybe a thousand kids come here. If we get one to be a taro farmer, we scored. Yeah. This is Gabrielle Ewing coming from Hawaii Preparatory Academy for Hikino.